You ever heard of the secondary market? Yeah. You ever heard of the Scotch whiskey auctions? Yeah. Well, let's talk about what happens when you get a uh, when you won some lots on Scotch whiskey auction. There we go. And let's do an unboxing. There. What's up, P? Hey, man. What's going on, Doc? Special day, special day, man. Yeah, man. I'm excited, excited. I'm hyped, bro. You want to watch? Man, you got a big old something here, man. Look like the look like the UPS man or somebody showed up at the door. Uh, and the UPS man indeed did show up. It took him about three weeks. You know where, where he was bringing stuff from? Where he bringing stuff from? Edinburgh, man. Scotland. There we go. There we go. This is uh, uh, a box of uh, five bottles. Uh, that I was able to get on Scotch Whiskey Auction. Okay. You hear us talk about secondary market, and uh, for me, you all up in it then now. For me, uh, Scotch Whiskey Auctions is, is my go-to for the secondary market, and so I thought it would make a whole lot of sense for folks to be able to see uh, an unboxing of some of the uh, the things that you can get uh, when you deal with those folks. So I have already cut uh, the top. Of the box and the box is very solid would you agree bro it's extremely solid yeah man. i've had to, to navigate my way through a couple of these before and so they have the um the bubble wrap and so i'm just going to start pulling stuff out and um and so then you get a bottle and the bottle will be in this additional bubble uh container just very very secure and it it takes some work to be able to get these bottles out of this wrap. You know what I found is easier, man. What? Is I just take my knife, bust a couple of bubbles, it, it releases them and it's, it's able for them to come out a little bit easier. See, and I, I agree with that. Not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to save the containers because I've already bought some. Well, and for see. For shipping stuff in. Well, see, <laughs> you, you have more room than I do. And yeah. so I've thrown a bunch of these things out. Yeah. And since we're talking about potentially going to Scotland before yeah. the end of the year, uh, I thought that um, I'll save them to transport yeah, locally yeah. and some stuff. Yeah. So what's the first one come out, man? Well, so uh, this is a Glen Farkles 12 year, uh, and it says uh, bottled for Tudor, okay. cast strength Polish exclusive batch number one, bottled at 58.9 percent alcohol. Okay. What little, you think about that, bro? That, that got a little kick to it, man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Let's put this here and keep it moving. How many bottles do you got in there, I have five bottles, and so that... There's some doubles there. Yeah. And so you guys know, they also put the boxes in there also. So when you get done, you also have the box that goes with it. Hmm. Or the tube, if it comes in a tube. Yeah. And look at that. What you know about that? I don't know nothing about that. You don't know about Glencairn 8? No, man. What you got? Uh, Glencairn 8 cast strength. And uh, it says here 57.1% ABV. Even when it's in the canister, they still put additional bubble wrap in it. Bubble wrap, bubble wrap. They protect your stuff. Yeah, they do a great job with shipping. I've never had a bottle come out it's got, damaged. It's got the UK uh, sticker on the back, or not sticker, but uh, branding on the back. And this is uh, a Campbellton single malt. And so we have that working. Next, 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 pop, pop, pop goes the weasel. I don't even remember what this is. Uh-oh, 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 as my grandbaby says. Uh-oh, that's, that's the one right there. You've been looking for that for a while, man. I have, man. You don't see that in the States too often. We've got Lagavulin 12-year, and this is actually a different... It's uh, a different bottle. Ain't it? it is. Yeah, it's, the uh, on the bottle is different. It says uh, natural cast strength, 58.5%. And this is the 2019 edition of the uh, Lagavulin 12. So that, that's, that's been... How long you've had this? Wait, is this which lot was this? Which auction was this offer? This is actually these five bottles come from two auctions. Okay, from two auctions. So, uh oh, so you always hear me talk about independent bottlings and my love for Port Charlotte. Okay, we got uh, uh, the Malt Man, 
uh, 13 year Port Charlotte and uh, the provenance on this is 50.3% uh, ABV uh, it says a uh, wood type sherry cast cast number three uh, number of bottles there were 256 bottles and this was uh, distilled in April 2002 and bottled in February of 2016 I have other independent bottlings of Port Charlotte um, and I just this is one of my favorite 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 uh, not necessarily the malt man I haven't had this particular independent bottling before yeah. But I love uh, independent bottlers in Port Charlotte. Port Charlotte does a great job. Okay. And last but not least, and this is going to be something that you're familiar with. Okay. Because I get a lot of my scotch inspiration for you, my spear, brother. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 looks, that looks familiar. Looks familiar, that huh? Looks familiar. Yeah. So, it's going to make me throw my shoulder out. <laughs> Windronic uh, cast strength, and this is uh, batch. You know what, what batch number this is? I do not know what batch number this is. This is batch number five okay. of the Glen, 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 Glendronic cast strength. Okay. And this is actually my first bottle of Glen, Glendronic cast strength. Okay. And I, I, I know that you indicated that you, you've had this, uh, at least. I've some, had that one. I've had, I think I've even had the five. I got the four and the five. So the per so actually, I didn't even know that Glendronic did castrate yeah. until we were on our Zoom conference uh, one time, and oftentimes we will talk about who's drinking what. Sure. And there is a guy from Cincinnati uh, who has a hair of head like uh, a hair a head of hair. Excuse me. <laughs> he has a hair a head of hair uh, like he's an Adonis. Uh, and I think his name is Adam, and uh, he showed that he was drinking uh, Glendronic Cast Strength Number Five, and it's like, damn, I ain't never, didn't even yeah. know they did that. Yeah, I and found then, out, and, and I think my bowlings are also from Scotch Whiskey Auction. Okay, and so yeah. then you started talking about the sure. fact that you had. It's like yeah. I got to get my own, yeah. brother. You can't have mine. You got to get your own. <laughs> <laughs> so, so anyway, this is my haul from Scotch Whiskey Auctions, and. Um, let me let the so, folks. So so so, obviously, we went heavily on cast strength. See, you the man, you the man, dog, you the man. I was, I, I, you know, folks. I I told Brian, I said, ask me, <laughs> what is it that these five bottles uh, have in common, or why I bought these bottles and stuff. And anybody who knows me at single malt knows I like my single malt at cast strength, they if all, I can get it that way. They and all, they're all bumping on, on, on 50, 54 plus. Yeah, the, you know. I think the one that is the uh, the lowest is this. Uh, these are all cast strength. Yeah, I thought there was something right at 50%. Yeah, this uh, this malt man, this okay. Port Charlotte. Okay. This Port Charlotte is right at 50%. So you asked me if I got them all in one auction. So in December of 2020, I got the Glendronic, I got the Kilcarin, and I got the Lagavulin. Okay. So I got those three on one auction uh, in December 2020. And uh, what I paid for those uh, three bottles, uh, the Glendronic was 65 pounds, not dollars, pounds. The Kilcarin was, and by the way, this Kilcarin uh, 8 uh, was the scotch of the year for a whole bunch of folks. Okay. Uh, in which year? I think in 2019 or 20. Okay. Yeah. Um, and so I uh, looked that up and see. And, and that's not one that you see on the shelf. Look how look how dark it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. But anyway, for the uh, for the Kilcarin, that one was eighty pounds, and the Lagavulin twelve was eighty five pounds. So that's what I paid for the. That's a total of two hundred and sixty one pounds. So you have to do the 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 uh, the. Uh, conversion to dollars and so that means that these these three at 261 pounds that's probably about 350 dollars somewhere in their general vicinity 
is, yeah. a, is a rough is a rough transfer. Yep, yeah, that's in there somewhere. Okay, and so then the you know you don't hardly ever find Glenn Farkless at Castro. I no. mean they they had the, no. the Glenn Farkless one award. Very 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 seldom. Yeah, they had the Glenn Farkless one award. And then for it to look like the the normal twelve bottle. Yeah. Which threw me off at yeah. first. Yeah. To I seen the the, the Tudor on the bottle. In the, in the cast at the bottom. That's and interesting. It, and it says it's for the Polish market. Yeah. Uh, but in any event, the uh, the Glen Farkless was 50 pounds, uh, which is probably transfers to about 80 US dollars. And the Port Charlotte was 85 pounds, which probably transfers or converts to roughly about, and I'm just off the top of my head, Probably about a hundred and ten, maybe fifteen dollars. So, so the question being, and then that I have mm -hmm. is on the shipping portion of them because that's where we get see, bit a couple of times. See, and was a terror for non-terror on the shipping part. See, you because, had to be the bare bad yeah, news, bro. I know the bare bad news. That that the issue that I haven't been back. I don't even in, want to talk about it. In four or five hours. I don't even want to talk about it, bro. Oh, oh yeah, it, it hurt. It hurt. That hurt there. Five bottles, I had them shipped. 255 pounds. 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 That's shipping, see? And, and and I'll tell you, and we've been doing Scotch Whiskey Auction for quite some time, and it's been a while since I've been back to them, and that's kind of the reason. 200, um, 250, you see that, man? You see how much money that is? Yeah, that's... The shipping is... See, I have temporary moments of insanity, yeah. and this is one of them. And, and so, it didn't always used to be that way. No, I've, I've had... I think we both have had an yeah. account at uh, Scotch Whiskey Auctions for close to three years. Yeah. And... Uh, you used to be able to ship five bottles back, and it might be 100 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so and you didn't get bought with the tariff. Yeah, and the, the, with the tariffs and everything going because of the last administration. Yeah, and that gets a little political, but it is where we are. And there's a temporary hold on tariffs right now. Yeah, for four or five months. And that's so, that, that's a good thing. And that's a good that's thing. a good thing because this this stuff is not it's not an inexpensive journey to be on. But uh, but some distillers had not even been charged for tariff and they've been just eating the cost. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Man, it's where you get it and where you get it from. Yeah. And there's a quite a few places that you can buy your stuff from. Yeah. Uh, that's just one that we choose, one of many that we choose to be But honest. but what I will say and you know, we we're here in Omaha, Nebraska. Um, I don't know what the uh, the retail market is like uh, in New York or San Francisco or LA um, but I am familiar with the retail market in Chicago and um, the only one of these bottles that I think that you might have had, had have had a shot at picking up at a place like Benny's in Chicago Benny's might have had the Glendronic uh, cast strength at some point and they might have had the uh, Kilcarran 8 at some point. I'm fairly certain that they uh, didn't have... Uh, we, the, we could find that out here pretty quick. Yeah, we yeah. can. Yeah. We can. Yeah. And, and so I, I guess my point in, in saying that is that that was the, the fact that they were limited availability to people. Which uh, makes it even more intriguing to buy. And typically, I would buy bottles from them that I could not find. And it, or, or if you were looking for here, it would be cheaper to buy them overseas, mm -hmm. and then that would offset the shipping. Yeah, most time. Yeah, but it's getting to the point that it's not that way. Yeah, but I understand your reasoning. You just went back a whole lot sooner than I did. Yeah, hey man, you got a great haul here. Right on, you know? bro. <laughs> um, we'll, have to, we'll have to see if you can, you know, you decide to crack something and, and get into something well, here at, some, at some point or some time. Well, you know, maybe we, we can continue that journey. Yeah. Oh, we, I mean, you know, that, that's what this you is know? for. Yeah. That's what this is for. So, uh, what what I want to ask uh, our subscribers and even non-subscribers, uh, you know, to, to comment and let us know which one of these bottles you would like for us to uh, review first. Uh, I'm gonna tell you that I probably won't review this one first uh, because I have. Uh, this in a 2017 edition that I'm still about, uh, I still have probably about 40% of that bottle. Yeah. So I'm not gonna open that one until I get down to near the end of it and then I can compare the 17 and the 19. Interesting on the, on the, on the labeling. 
them switching up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, the rest of them, you guys decide which one uh, we open and review uh, for you guys first. Just holler back at us in the comments and we stuff. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Subscribe. Hit the bell. I'll let your boy. All that stuff. We appreciate keep raising it. the bar, y'all. We out.